Hello and welcome to my creating a data page macro and utilizing it in TC Demos tutorial. To start with, we open up data page as we have here. And we will go to options, macro mode. And in macro mode, we have to teach the macro what we want to do. So that we go to edit and learn. From there, we then open up our database that we are going to be pulling statistics from. Browse to it. We're going to be using Harley-Davidson today. So we go find it and there we go, Harley database. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we'll move that over a little bit. There we go. And we're going to, we're going to insert a uh, barn whisker chart into uh, the macro. So we'll go find the part program that we want to pull the statistics from. And this one will be 33285. Uh, there you go. All right. And we're going to choose a variable. And this one that we're going to use is whole one. Uh, there we go. All right. We're going to use the last 30. So we're going to update the uh, data in data page before we do this macro. So it'll be the most current plus the last 29. Here's what we have so far is the part is 332857B, variables whole one, last 30 parts, and it's going to be a barn whisker. Now, we're going to print this. We're going to initially get a printed page that goes to our printer, and that's just fine. So here we go. All right, we say uh, OK. All right. Now notice that it put in print landscape into our macro. It, so basically it records all the all the uh, clicks. And we type in close all. And we have to type in quit. And that closes the reports or charts. And then it quits out of data page. Now we save this macro. We're going to put it just right on the Z drive. I'm not putting it in any folder or anything. I'll give this the name of, uh, I can let's see here. We'll go whole one uh, bar. No, let's make it uh, capitals. Whole one bar. And we'll say OK. There we go. All right. Now I, I click on new. It just kind of, I think that it clears this out. I may be wrong, but that's, uh, that's what I've been doing thus far. All right. Now we're done in data page. Now we go into PC Demos. And if you'll notice, I already have a, a command written in there, but I'm going to do it through a, a typing here. And then I F7 it uh, where it says display and then turn it to no, no display, no wait. Then I'd start typing in where I want my path to begin. I'm going to have it open up data page. That's what the, the first uh, set of code there is. C colon uh, backslash data page. All right, so it's telling it to go to the data page folder. Oh, let's get that right. All right. So it's C colon backslash data page. And then it'll be another colon. Uh, excuse me, another backslash, and then data page dot exe. That says go find the executable file of data and open that up. Then what we do is we put in dash d. That clears out the databases, and then we type in the path that we uh, are looking for the, the new database. And that new database is going to be at z Harley. And then we put in another space. Then we type in where we want to, what macro we want to open. So it's Z colon backslash, and then the uh, correct macro name. Oh, here we go. Yeah, what did we call that? Whole one bar dot mac. That's supposed to be a dot, not a not a uh, lesser than greater sign. So, thank you, and that's how to do a macro in data page and PCDMS.